Hello Gemini, welcome to your 2019 Equinox reading. I'm going to use the deck of the Qatars. This is the Dutch translation, Qataren. Qatars, so look at uh, maybe up with a C or a K and an S at the end, also with the H in between. They are the first people or religion that believed they lived in the matrix. They just called it the shadow world. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, let's get into your reading. I'm going to pull five cards. One in the middle concerning the problem. Two negative aspect cards and two positive aspect cards. So let me just shuffle a bit. Measure twice, cut once. The problem, negative aspects, positive aspects. So what the problem might be, and we have the Knight of Love in reverse, or the Knight of Cups here in reverse, and the Knight of Cups is, let me get to it, he's civilized and is, has a lot of spiritual and uh, spiritual courage. He's a Galagat, or used to be a Galagat, the perfect knight who is destined to be the holy, to win the holy cup. For the Qatars, he was a recognizable, uh, mighty figure who re was very respected, owed very much respect as well. In the normal world, he is an idealistic dreamer with charms who are difficult to resist. There is also a feeling of supernatural enchant enha enchantment around him, uh, secret knowledge who goes without, who goes under the surface. As a guide, he is unequivalent. As a friend, he is a rock where, in times or need, you can point uh, rest on. Uh, when he's upside down, he might be a little deceitful and also a charmer, a, de a deceiver, and a con man. So you might have a problem with people being a bit deceitful in your life, being this card upside down. It's about people who are cunning, who bring, bring you in temptation, who deceive you, who are a bit fox, like a fox, a deceiver and mislead you. So you might have a problem with people not being just in your environment. The negative aspects pointing to these cards are the shadow of worlds or the world of shadows and the queen of wisdom. So what might that point to? The world of shadows is the major arcana. It's the moon card. So in dreams, the truth is concealed. The light aspect about this card, as it is in the negative aspect and upside down, it might be considered up again, I don't know. It's about dreams, uh, uh, hidden influences, esoteric forces, un un unconscious needs, synchronicities. So you might be going to a lot of signs going through your life now, signs you'll be seeing or hearing or in interpreting last signs so you might be in touch with your psychic self the queen of wisdom who is sometimes also the empress but here she is the queen of pentacles when this card is has all to do with prosperity and abundance it's a positive outcome of the accepted tasks and mat and material success, certainty and, and grace, dignity and freedom, nobleness and greatness surround the Queen of Wisdom in every reading. Her weaving points to the weaving of the soul in the life of the searcher. It is an, an enriching enriching advancement or an enriching 
pro to the love of the mother and her child, the wisdom and devotion are reflected by a, a good aspect of the reading. Nevertheless, which other cards are pulled upside down? She points to distrust and suspiciousness or revenge or revenge. So that might be an aspect. Don't be revengeful or suspicious about anything. The light aspect, as this card is also in the negative aspects upside down, you might point it back upwards again. It goes either way. I just read them both. She's a brave, noble and noble, courage, full, full of, of um, trust, uh, re-encouragement, honesty, prosperity and open-minded. When it's dark or when these people are in your life, they might be dark and untrustworthy. They might pull doubt into your life or they think you of certain things. They suspect you of certain things. They might be pointing to bad health, uh, shyness, um, procrastination, um, quarrel and revenge. So let's see what the positive aspects are. And here we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Five of Love. So the Five of Love is a card that's not very good unless it's upside down. But here it's upside in the, in the positive aspects of the reading. So this time it's about loss and unknowingness or ignorance about a, a quite depressing outer meaning of a deeper of you know, of the outer lies in the deeper of the inner sorry for that that wasn't quite clear because this is a turning point a moment where the good decisions might mean everything so you might need to take a decision and go for it. Just be receptive to your needs and take account with it that you might be feeling a bit rest, uh, a bit uh, apathic. So the Ace of Pentacles in this reading is definitely a good card. It is so positive that the negative influence is of, of minor to concern about. It points to big success. It's about contentment, happiness, success, um, desire, um, prosperity. Even in the dark side, but it's not in the dark side. It says still about abundance, materialism profit or might be a bad influence of the of the uh, abundance that you receive that might be a bad influence so watch out a little for that and gemini don't play your charms too much out what i'm doing now i'm gemini never mind that was your reading thanks for watching and maybe to the next time take care